at 16, all of those lessons that I had learned from her was now being used um, in the development of raising my son. And so let's go on to the next slide. So here I am. This is our, this is our first photo together, him and I. And uh, one of the captions that said that it's easier to build children than to repair a broken man. And I don't know about you, but I've come in contact with a lot of broken men. Not only have I come in contact with them, but I've been a reflection of them because I've also been broken. And so, where I grew up, Benton Harbor, Michigan, where I grew up, small town, population of about 13,000 people, if anybody's familiar with Benton Harbor, that was my hometown. And again, like I said earlier, when I began to talk about my mother, my mother was a hard-working woman. Hard-working. But my mother also came from some very difficult challenges and backgrounds. And so my mother grew up under abuse and neglect. And so when she grew up under abuse and neglect, you know what happened to me? Yeah. I was born under that same umbrella. And so one of the things that I talk greatly about is this cycle that we have as families. And God was somewhere in there. Already, yeah, let me take that somewhere out. He was always in there. The somewhere was I couldn't recognize him. And so it wasn't until this morning that I realized God has been in my life the whole time, ministering to me, preparing me for this very moment. And I keep thinking to myself, I'm like, God, why? You know how we question God? I'm supposed to be, uh, I'm supposed to have a master's degree in this, and I'm supposed to have this four or five bedroom home, and my bank account is supposed to have at least six zeros. Not a negative, but at least six. I'm supposed to have those things, God. Why didn't you give those to me? And so then when I begin to think about it, and our, our conversation today is about, about unconditional love, and I thought to myself, Peter, Paul, David, Jesus even, their stories is what God give, had given them. And so when I begin to think about God gave me his unconditional love by giving me my story. And so part of what I'm hoping to provide to you guys today is that it is your story that is the most important piece to life. It's your story. It's what made you. You know, when I begin to think about the Bible, the Bible is built on amazing stories and lessons, life lessons that we can take with us. And so I thought to